Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a, another Valentine's Day look for you guys. This is the sexy Valentine's Day look. So as I said in my first video, I wanted to do possibly three Valentine's Day looks for you guys. A cute, sweet one, a sexy one, and a sultry one. So this is the second makeup look for this series. This is more of the kind of look that I normally go for on Valentine's Day. Um, I just love red lips so much and glitter. You can never go wrong with glitter. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are gonna do for Valentine's Day. Like, where are you going? Uh, what you guys have planned? Are you just gonna eat a bunch of chocolate with your girlfriends? Um, I would love to know, I would love to know. If you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting off with my hair already pulled back with this turban. Um, I had just showered so my hair was still soaking wet, so that's why. But um, and in advance, I just want to say sorry for this voiceover, I am currently sick. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, uh, as you saw, I'm starting off with some lotion to rehydrate my face and I already primed my lids so we're just going to jump straight into the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and taking this Eden color, I'm placing it into my crease as my transition shade. Then using the shadows Burnt Orange and Real Gur from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I am buffing those into the crease as well for more warmth. I wanted more pink in the crease, so I'm adding just a dash of this shadow called Love Letter. Next, taking this beautiful rose gold L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush, I'm applying it all over my lids. These L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows are one of the best eyeshadows I have ever used for high-end or for drugstore. I highly recommend. Now going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm using Cypress Umber to deepen the outer corner. And then to lighten up my brow bone, I'm using Tempera. To highlight my inner corner, I'm using Vermeer and Primavera. Now for the star of the show, I'm using this Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma all over my lids, almost creating a cut crease look. Then for my bottom lash line, I'm basically just marrying what we did on top by using the colors Burnt Orange, Real Gur, and Love Letter. And then I'm darkening the outer bottom lash line with Cypress Umber. Then I'm using that same combo of Vermeer and Primavera for my brow bone highlight as well. For my brows, I'm taking this IT Cosmetics Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe and filling in my brows fairly lightly because I don't want the brows to overpower the eyes or the lips. Next, taking this NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner, I'm creating a wing and I'm also creating sort of like a beak shape in the inner corners of my eyes for a more sexy cat eye shape. Now I'm going to apply this Lord & Berry Black Liner Pencil to my waterline and tight line with it as well. Next I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply this Tarte Tardius Mascara for more volume and lift. For primer, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Then taking this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl, I'm applying it to the high points of my face. I wanted to finish up this Sephora foundation sample that I got, so that's what I'm using. 
This is in the color beige or number 25 in case you were wondering. I actually like this foundation. I obviously haven't used it for very long, but so far so good. I wanted this look to be pretty glowy, so I'm mixing in this Temp2 and BoxyCharm liquid highlighter in Liquid Glow. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And then to set down the concealer, I'm using my Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. To set down the rest of my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Then to contour my face, I'm using this IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette to bring back some definition to my face. I wanted a more bronzy look, so I'm also applying this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Then taking this huge fluffy brush from Royal and Langnickel, I'm just sweeping it lightly all over my face to make sure everything is blended together well. For blush, I am using a combo of two blushes. The first one is this Physicians Formula Blush in Blushing Natural. And then I'm going to go over it with this Milani's Baked Blush in Rose de Oro for glowy, rosy cheeks. To highlight my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Bronzer in Vegas Strip. And of course, I wanted even more glow, so I'm adding this Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter on top. I also decided to add these kiss lashes in the style Shy for a more flirty look. Next, I lined my lips using this NYX Retractable Lip Liner in red. And for my lips, I decided to go with this beautiful Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! This shirt totally reminds me of Sailor Moon. It's so weird. <laughs>